What up, Transformers fans? This is TG Strickland 1029 coming at you with my second part of my video review of my Transformers Revenge of the Fallen custom repainted um, Supreme Devastator. So today, I'm, in this part, I'm going to be showing you the transformation of Hightower and Scavenger. So let's start off with Hightower. For Hightower, um, we're going to go ahead and take the um, treads, separate them out, push this in, finger right there, and this comes in, and there's a little peg right there that fits in the little hole right there, like that, in, anything on that side, bring forward the crane, unhook that, flip that up, and there you have high tower. Now for big old scavenger, you're going to go ahead and... Uh, Take um, the um. Well, let me bring it back. I'm gonna go ahead and detach the whole bottom section right there. This whole piece is gonna rotate up. You're gonna flip it over, bring the crane forward, and then these are just gonna go ahead and flip up like that. They kind of hook together in the center. You take that like that, and then dab it in. And you're going to pop this right there. Now make a mix master. Shh. Does not like to be quiet. Okay, watch, watch this, watch this. Look at that! What the heck has bro? Use a button, not you know motion activated sounds. I mean what who the heck wants motion activated sounds on a transformer? Especially this noise. That is annoying. Um, but, um, you know, what are you going to do? The only other thing you can do is take batteries out of it, which I've done before and it works, but <laughs> you can't take a nice look at this without it going off. And I'm, um, um, so that's why I always leave it alone. <laughs> but, so as you can see, here we have them um, in order from biggest to smallest, over here being biggest, over here being smallest. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can zoom out more. Yep. So, here we have Scavenger, Mixmaster, Scrapper, Hightower, Long Haul, and Rampage. Now, let's start off with the smallest, Rampage, um, who is not the most pitiful of the six. Um, I'll get to the most pitiful after Rampage, but, um, for Rampage, as you can see, it rolls, actually rolls pretty well, even though the treads aren't rubber. Um, bucket can go up and down a little bit, like that. Let me bring him closer to the camera. So, yeah, it does have wheels right there. I can go up and down a little bit. I painted those silver. It says Decepticon symbol A-N-K-A-1-1-1-3-0. Sorry if it's not zooming real well, but I think that's an 8. Or a three, I don't know. Yeah, it's an eight. Um, but yeah, there's Rampage. Um, now say hello to Mr. Pitiful, Long Haul. Now for Long Haul, um, this does not go up and down like the Voyager, which is on my shelf down there on the shelves. Um, look at this. This Pitiful, just Decepticon symbol lights. That's it. Um, I like the detail of the dirt here, but that's pretty much it. Rolls very well. Transformation is pitiful. Yep. Overall, this guy sucks. This guy, I do not like. He sucks. But, um, next we have actually one of my favorite. Oh, oh by the way, um, these two guys right here are deluxe class sized, um, vehicles. Uh, anyway, Hightower and Scrapper are Voyager sizes, if you compare them to, like, Long Haul. Right there, you can see, very Voyager-like. Um, even though these guys do not transform individual robots, which is a little crud. <sighs> this thing is not worth 100 bucks, okay? At the, at the least, 70. Because, oh my, this thing is definitely not worth 100 bucks. 
But um, anyway, on to Hightower, who is this truss crane. Um, very nice. Can go forward and back. Hook can be articulated and stuff. This can move. Um, rolls very well too. Um, this is Decepticon Civil. This is 40777. And that's about it. All the windows are the same kind of fake plastic. But, you know. I love the detailing on this thing. Scrapper has to be one of my overall favorites. Um, so, let's, so Scrapper is this loader. Um, very nice. It says Decepticon Symbol BGE. And that's about it. <laughs> this does not go up and down. Which sucks, but it only goes up and down a little bit. But this can detach and move up, but I don't feel like doing that right now. Because I'm lazy. And now onto the one that does not seem to want to be quiet. Mixmaster. This thing actually weighs a lot. This thing is actually pretty heavy. Um, Mixmaster is leader class size. See what I mean? This thing is leader class sized. Um, very nice. So what's cool about it, my window's over there and lights reflecting on it, so it makes this a pretty cool shot. Of Mix Master, but as you can see, 360 up into the back right there. It's a Decepticon symbol right there. That's about it. Okay. That one, by the way, this can articulate. Let me show you next to Jetfire. Jetfire is obviously bigger. So next we have my favorite of the six, or last but not least, my favorite of the six, Scavenger. Now this thing is huge. Um, when I first got this thing, I was like, is this a Fisher Price toy? Because this thing is flipping huge. Um, not as big as, it, even though Jetfire is bigger. Jetfire is bigger. This gives you an idea of how big Jetfire is. Jeez. How big are the toys going to be in the third line? I mean, are they going to be like play sets? <laughs> oh my... I'm waiting to see something bigger than Fortress Maximus. Fortress Maximus so far is the record breaker for the biggest Transformer ever. But, um, we'll just wait to see about that. But, um, as you can see, Scavenger, this can move around, this can move up and down, go back, rolls just fine. Very hollow right here because it's, what's cool is it's very big, but it's very light. Um, this thing at most weighs only like three pounds, or not even, not even two, not even three pounds, maybe two and a half. This thing is light because the inside of here is all hollow but except for this area right here about is where his shoulders are. So yes yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean having something this big way this much. Um, very nice. So um I um let's see how much time there is left. Okay um, we don't have time to transform it back. But, um, you've seen other reviews, um, Transformation's back. It's much easier, in my opinion, than transform. It's actually harder, in my opinion, because of all the tight joints. But, it's very nice. Very nice figure. Um, do not recommend him unless you are a collector and you really like Devastator. This thing, overall, is not worth a hundred bucks, okay? This thing is worth, at most, eighty. If not, eighty-five. I, I, this thing is not a hundred bucks, okay? Put it that way, this thing is not a hundred bucks. So, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, etc, etc. And, um, yeah, look forward to more reviews. Thank you. Booyah.